So I think to most people who play Call of Duty World War 2, either Michael Condre or Glenn Schofield are probably the faces of Sledgehammer Games for you, as these two guys did actually co-found Sledgehammer Games back in 2009, and Michael Condre was more based in like the multiplayer side of COD World War 2, whereas Glenn Schofield was more based around the zombie side of the game. But pretty shockingly, as of yesterday, both of these guys have actually left Sledgehammer Games. Activision did make an official statement which they sent to Kotaku and they said both Condre and Schofield will now have executive duties inside Activision and both of these guys did leave Sledgehammer Games so there's not a ton of details around this. We don't exactly know what they're going to be doing in Activision aside from these executive duties and we don't know if there's any other reasons why exactly they left Sledgehammer Games which was a pretty huge shock. There were two main reasons why this was a pretty big shock to me. The first one is that they are two co-founders of Sledgehammer Games, so that in itself is pretty surprising if both of them leave. Uh, but the second one, which I think is more significant, is that both of them actually left whilst their game was still in the spotlight, which is actually really confusing to me. I think this move would have made a lot more sense if they both left maybe during like the Infinity Ward or the Treyarch game because the spotlight isn't exactly on them, but instead just after the first DLC pack drops for COD World War 2, Michael Condre and Glenn Schofield drop out of Sledgehammer Games and the person replacing them is called Aaron Hallen who is now the studio head of Sledgehammer Games. And I think this is going to be a very tough job, I think he's got a lot of work to do, especially considering Call of Duty World War 2 is the current Call of Duty game, and this guy just has to step into both of these guys' shoes and take on the work which they once did. Of course my opinions are going to be biased because I am a consumer of Sledgehammer games, but the one thing I want to see out of Aaron Hallen is that I hope he listens more to the casual community of the game, because I felt that's one thing which Michael Condre did lack himself, although he did improve on it during like the January times where he was posting more on Reddit and stuff, but at least when the game first came out I felt like Michael Condre only really listened to like popular YouTubers, Twitch streamers or professional players and he kind of like neglected the casual player base who makes up a large majority of the overall player base in COD World War 2 so I hope Aaron can do a good job of listening to the community as a whole. But overall this is pretty huge news for the game because the last thing something like this happened was back in 2010 during the Modern Warfare 2 cycle when Jason West and Vince Zimpella actually left Infinity War during the game's life cycle and Modern Warfare 2 don't get me wrong was an amazing COD game but I felt like it was kind of poorly managed in a way and there weren't really many patches for the game during its cycle and I hope the same thing doesn't happen to Call of Duty World War 2. I don't want to see it just like kind of rot away until Treyarch come and save the day all the way in November and I hope that the game will still improve despite Michael Condre and Glenn Schofield leaving. Will Sledgehammer Games still be a developer of Call of Duty titles in the future? Probably, I don't know for sure, we'll probably find out in like two years time and we won't get any information until then. But that sums up the video, Michael Condre and Glenn Schofield are no longer a part of Sledgehammer Games. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you found the video useful, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty but I'll see you guys in my next video. But at the very end of the video I would like to thank Michael Condre and Glenn Schofield for what they've done for Call of Duty over the last 7, 8 years, 9 maybe. Um, even though I know they're not going to watch this video at all but I do think what they did with Advanced Warfare was very innovative and bringing Call of Duty back to World War 2 was also a great move so I'd like to thank them and I wish them good luck in Activision in the future.